So you want I should give a brief here? What your new, with your new book? Is only boy after Christmas? No. <laughs> so, so the word picture is going to be is that the examiner has never met you before, but he is familiar with the car. And his instructor, who couldn't make it today, was actually going to teach him this turning the car on the road by using forward and reverse gears. Okay. So, can you remember from watching Andy and Clark um, what they done? It's going to take you about approximately five minutes to drive to the area. What what they done with that five minutes? Yeah, watching your um, clutch control and your steering. Yeah. And seeing yeah. how you get on with that and helping with that. Yeah. So it would be. It'd be important to try and encourage me to to show you that clutch control mm -hmm. and and to show you that quick big steering, yeah. Yeah. And if you if you use that all the way there, then that's just going to give you give you help and hand to get get things moving. If you didn't if you didn't do any work on the way there, uh, that it would get you there, um, but it, it wouldn't be the nicest drive in the world, eh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So different, uh, different from the reverse around the corner. It's the steering and and the clutch control. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. Okay. So, so my name's Tony, and we've never met before. And my instructor, who who couldn't make it today, but has got the same car as you, mm -hmm. um, said we were going to do this turning the road by using forward and reverse gears. So I'll hand over to you. Okay. Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. My name's Debbie. How are you, all right? I'm fine, thank you. Um, right, so you wanted to do, you were going to do turning the road today? Yeah, so we're going to do this turning thingy. Yeah, okay. All right then, so um, have you heard of the prepare, observe, move routine? Oh yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Because yeah. we'll be using quite a lot of that, so you yeah. have to be able to prepare the car. Um, yeah. yeah, it's just coming out of roll, isn't it? Mm. So, I would know the POM routine, wouldn't I? Yeah. Um, I would be familiar with the POM routine after after the moving up and stopping, yeah? Right, okay. Yeah? I'll be carrying on from there. Uh, okay. Um, right, so, um, I don't know what to ask now. Yeah, so have I, have I ever done any reversing or anything? Right, yeah, have you done any reversing experience at all? Uh, no, I haven't done any yet. Not done any straight no, line reversing? No. Okay, that's okay, that's fine. Um, Alright then. Uh, yeah, so I've just, I've, I've kind of chucked in a bit of a curveball there just to make you think about it. So where else would I, may I have, would, <laughs> happy Christmas. <laughs> where else would I have used tight clutch control? Right, okay, yeah. Have a think and where do you reckon I might have As you're it? putting up behind a car. So you've done moving off and stopping? Yeah, what about if I'm coming out of a blind junction? What would I be doing at oh, that junction? Creeping, creeping, yeah. 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 Yeah, so that's the kind of kind of link you want to make, yeah? Right, okay. So have you done um any peep and creep as you're putting up? Oh the yeah, junction? yeah, we came out of some blind junctions last week, yeah. Okay. And how did you control the speed of the car when you were coming out of a junction? Oh, I was very gentle with those uh, those feet, so the car was just creeping forward. Yeah. And I leaned forward. Okay. So you were controlling the speed with the clutch and the gas? I was, yeah. 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 Okay, and how were you steering when you were steering round? Um, as you turn out of junction? If I was going right, I was steering right. If I was going left, I was steering left. Yeah, and you're using big steers as well as you're turning um, the junction? Sometimes I was, sometimes yeah. If it, it was a sharp corner, yeah. Yeah, okay. Right then, um, if you want to set yourself oh, up right, the yeah. car. Yeah. Okay, and what can you see in the mirror? Um, not a lot really. Um, I've got a fence behind me. But I can see the hole at the back window and I can see a bit of my head restraint. Okay, and what about the door mirrors? Um, I can see the door handles and I can see the top of the fence just comes in at the top of the uh, door mirror. Mm -hmm. And this one? And the same that one. Okay, alright then, if you'd like to start the engine. Yeah, so we're going to turn right out of the car park. Okay, we're going to be turning right out of the car park. But before we move away, if you, um, show, me, if you show me that clutch control, we pull out very, very slowly and see if we can... Yeah, so you want me to, to take the car from here to the exit and keep the speed at walking pace, yeah? yeah. Okay. So we keep the speed at walking pace. Oh, right. Walking pace. Okay, 
Okay, hold on. Before we go, uh, if you set the... It's important not to have the clutch too high. It's important not to have the clutch too high, because if you do, we're going to end up uh, shooting forward. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. Just, uh, just bring the clutch up a quarter of a centimetre, all right. half a centimetre. Just, just drop it down, thickness of a pound coin, yeah? Okay, bring it up to... Uh, I think it's a pound coin. Yeah, so it's so important not to have the clutch to your because I'm going to go shooting out across the car park, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, so I'm just having a little play around, Gemma. Yeah, okay. So all you have to do is just tell me, just drop the clutch. Okay, there, drop the clutch a quarter of a uh, yeah, pound, pound coin. coin. Oh, right. Okay. Okay, and then do nice big stairs. Nice big stairs. And then you're turning right. Yeah. Okay, when you're steering, yeah. try and steer so you have one hand right at one hand if you're turning right, your right hand at the top of the steering wheel, bring this wheel gently right down, back up again with the left hand and then the other way around to get around the steering. So for this bend, put your right hand up All right. and bring the steering wheel right down and left hand down. Same again with this bend, but not quite so much this time. If you judge it as you go around the bend, so left hand up, oh. gently bring it around, lead it back with the other. And one. we're going to turn right. And, and we're going to be turning left. right and then immediately left. So you just show me your good steering as you go around here. Oh. And, and that's good steering, wasn't it? And, yeah, and left, bring it gently down on the left. Went a bit faster, didn't it? Yes. If you want to watch your clutch control. Oh, I forgot about that, sorry. Okay, so when we get to the next junction, we're going to go around at an old man's walking pace. So if you use your, if you set your gas and clutch so that the speed is nice and gentle at old man's walking pace. And we're going to turn left. And we're going to turn left. Okay? Yeah, because I still like an old woman, doesn't it? Sorry? I'll steer like an old woman, isn't it? No, no, you're doing fine. Okay, that was a better speed. Did that feel better, going around that junction? No, I didn't stop there, did I? No, you didn't need to stop that. Right, so there's a junction up at the end. And we're going to turn right at the end. And we're going to turn right at the end, just let this car go. Yeah, don't forget, you will be able to drive, uh, apart from okay. you know, meeting situations that you'll be okay with. Junction, we're going to be thinking about doing big steers to turn the right, we're not, not over steering. And if we, if we stop at the junction, select first. So then, as you pull away, set the gas so it's not too, that's it. And we'll pull away nice and gently at old man's walking pace, nice big steers, oh, steer it back, that's it. That's better, man. Yeah, that was better. And it's important to you do the big stairs because if you do little shuffly ones you can end up zigzagging down the road and then you can end up hitting the pedestrian or hitting another car. It's an important also. And we're going to turn left again. And we're going to turn left. So again, let me see the nice um, slow walking pace as you go around the junction. Touch control. And big stair around. Oh. Big stair around. Big stair back. Oh. back there. That's, That's it. It's good to do that whole band's walking pace as you go around the junction because you don't want to go too fast because you can end up losing control of your steering if you're going too fast and end up mounting the curb or hitting another car. Now we're going right. to turn right. We're going to turn right. If you mount the curb, you're going to end up hitting the pedestrian. Okay, so again, think about your steering and think about your clutch control. What speed are you going to stick to going around here? A walking pace, isn't it? Yeah. Big steer around. I had to keep my foot on the brake going down there, didn't I? Yeah, because there was an incline, yeah. So why is it important to keep your speed down as you're going around the junction like that when you're steering? 
Otherwise I'd get to the curb too quickly, wouldn't I? And then what'll happen? Um, I'd have to stop and reverse back, wouldn't I? Yeah, well you'll end up mounting the curb and hitting someone. And at the roundabout we're going to follow the road straight on. At the roundabout we'll follow the road straight on. Around and big steer, oh, yes. steer and one big steer, that's yeah. it. Steer back, that's it. Okay. If you'd like to find a safe, convenient, legal place to stop on the left. Right, the purpose of this exercise today, we're not going to worry about driveways. Okay. Right, okay. Like to switch the engine off. All right. Turning the road. All right. Okay. So we're going to be using um, the POM POM routine, which is the prepare, observe, move. Oh, yeah, You've heard yeah. of that before, haven't yeah. you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that means that we're going to start by preparing the car. Right. Okay. Now to prepare the car, how would you normally prepare the car when you're going to move? Oh, I know how to prepare it. How? What would you normally do first? Oh, set the gas. Find the biting point. Yeah, you don't... Um... Then observe. Yes, yeah, so remember, I did tell you at the beginning yeah. that I do know the meaning of the word POM, yeah? Yeah. I would have used that before, yeah? Yeah. Okay. So so if you start going in and telling me how to do the POM routine, mm -hmm. it's going to be over instruction, yeah? Yeah, okay. Yeah, so I would know how to prepare it. Obviously, I'm going to have a little bit of a tease with you mm -hmm. uh, by getting the clutch too high or the gas too high. Okay, so what we'll be doing first of all in order to we'll be preparing the car. Yeah. Then we'll be doing full all round observations yeah. of the vehicle. Then we're gonna be um um once we've done all our observations, we're gonna be moving away, so we're gonna put full lock on the steering wheel all first right, of yeah, all. Yeah. And then when we get just over the middle of the road, we're then going to um uh, start to take the steering off until we get to the opposite side. And we're going to find a reference point when we stop here so that we can see where the right place to stop is for the car for you. For you. And then we're going to do another full set of observations. Yeah. We're going to start to reverse. We'll have, had, we'll have the car in reverse. Start to reverse back over to the middle when we're going to do another check up and down the road to make sure nothing's coming. And we're going to keep reversing back and start to take those steers off. And then as we stop here, we're going to have another... Um, can you see that? We're going to um, get another set of reference right, points. Right, but just, uh, just come out of the road here a minute. Yeah. Yeah, just, there's two reference points either side, isn't it? Right, yeah. Yeah, so there's four reference points all together. Okay. Yeah, so we're going to drive from here over to, over to here. And the first reference point we're going to pick up is the reference point to... To do what? To change the steering. To take the steering off, yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. And then we're going to edge forward a little bit further and then we're going to find the reference point for the curb so that the car doesn't overhang the curb. It's important the car doesn't overhang the curb because we could hit a pedestrian Good. if we do well that. Yeah. Okay, so then we're going to start to reverse after doing our observations again. We're going to get halfway across. We're going to check up and down the road to make sure it's still clear. We're going to continue our reverse. And then before we take our steers off, we're just going to stop and get that reference point so that we can see when to right. start taking the yep. steers off. And once we've got that, we're just going to reverse that little bit further just to take the steers off and stop before the car overhangs the curb. It's important we don't overhang the curb so we don't hit anyone. Um, and then we'll get another reference point so that we know where the car is All right. in relation to the curb. Um, then we're going to do another full set of observations. Um, and we're going to pull away, steering full lock onto the right. Right. And carry on on our journey. And it's important that when we... Um, uh, there, there's certain places where you can't do a turn in the road. You won't be able to do a turn in the road where there's no U-turn sign. You can't do a turn in the road where it's a one-way road because obviously you'd end up being the wrong direction on the one-way road. 
Um, you might have to do a turn in the road, obviously, if you go to a, 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 um, a, a dead end. All right. And that's yep. the reason why you might have to do a turn in the road. Yeah. Okay, we never do a turn in the road in a main road. Yeah. It's better to turn off into a minor road, to turn in the road and then go back. So if you find you're going in the wrong direction, just turn off somewhere where it's quiet, then do your turn in the road and come back. Um, okay. Then while we're doing our turn in the road, obviously we'll be looking for um, pedestrians on the pavement, cyclists, pedestrians that might be trying to walk out in front of us, and cars coming back with them. Oh. We don't want to hit anyone or cause any accidents. Yeah. That's nice um, oh yes, and it's yes, and it's important if you look at the road as well. Yeah. You'll find it, it's um, got like a sort of hill down the middle. The roads that are built so they have a camber so that when it rains, the rain drains off to the Oh, is that why road. it is? I thought they were built and uh, make it awkward to do a turn in the road. Yeah, that too. <laughs> oh, right. So, um, so when, we, when we're turning right, you need to be aware we might need just that little bit more power, that little bit of gas to go up the hill. But as we're coming back down the other side, you're going to need less. You're going to need the braking because the car is going to try and run oh, forward. Oh, right, right. Okay? Yeah. So we just need to be aware of that because we don't want the car to run away with yeah. us. All right. Yeah, so if you just finish off the brief, uh, you have actually covered the main points there, which is the three things that we're aiming to do today is to keep the car under tight control. Yeah? Right. Um, very important that we do the all round observations. Yeah? yeah? And we're looking for a reasonable accuracy. In other words, uh, I, I'm going to try and avoid touching the curbs, and I certainly wouldn't go up on the curbs here. Yeah? Right, yeah. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, so yeah, we're going to be moving at old man's walking pace. Yeah. Not, yeah, okay. Right. Okay, so if you'd like to start the engine. Yeah. Right, so what are you going to do? Uh, uh, just at a roll. Mm -hmm. If I'm halfway across there and the car comes, get safe in the stop, road. tell you that we're safe and wait for the car on. Right. Okay. Yeah, so the main thing is 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 don't let that car panic you into into making me rush, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, so you just take control of the situation, yeah? Yeah, okay. Okay, so we're gonna first of all prepare the car before we're right, yeah. going to move off. Okay, you've got the clutch up too down too fast. If you lift it up six for pan coin. Oh you want a fire? No, lo lower it six for pan coin. Alright, yeah. That's better. Yeah, okay, so you've got that lively hum at the biting point. All right. Go on, you know okay. I'm not going to back off the clutch until you tell me what. Okay, so you, you don't want to have the, the clutch up too high because as soon as you take the handbrake off, you're going to shoot down oh, the road. Oh, yeah, I'll shoot down the road. And then you'll yeah, end up yeah. running yeah. over someone. Yeah. Okay, so it's important to have good clutch control. Yeah. All right, so next thing we need to do is a full all round set of observations. All right. Press that clutch down just a touch more. Down, I think, if you found coin. Let's do your accelerator. Bring your accelerator up, thickness of a pound coin. Oh, gas, you mean? Your gas. Bring it up, thickness of a pound coin. Alright. That's it, that's much better. Okay, so if you keep that's it still. It the gas, is it? Yeah, it does, because again, if you're going to have too much gas, you're going to shoot off down the road and hit someone. Yeah, so you don't come in with the because's. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Right, okay. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is a full all round set of observations. All right. Okay, so we're going to start by. We need to check your blind spots. So if you start by having a look in your middle mirror just to see if there's anything all behind right. us, first of all. No. There's nothing coming. No. Okay? So we need to check, um, if you look right over your left shoulder, just all to right. see if there's any pedestrians. Right That's over your left right. shoulder. Yeah. In the back. All right, yeah. See, see if no, nobody there. there. Right, okay, left mirror. Nobody no. There. Look ahead of us, see if there's anything coming. No. Okay, look in your right mirror, see if there's um, anything coming down the road. Now look right in your blind spot on the right hand side, yeah, between the there. pillar and the, the head restraint, right, right. over. See if there's anything coming. No. Nothing there. Okay. Now we're going to start what moving. What can I see? Oh, what can you see? Oh, I can see that car sticking out the drive. Yeah, he's not moving though, is he? No. No. I so suppose he could do that, couldn't he? He could do. So we yeah. need to keep an eye on him and be aware right. of him. Okay. So we're going to be moving at old man's walking pace. That's very slowly. Yeah. Okay. So, and then when you've taken, don't do it yet. When you've taken your handbrake off, we're going to put that full lock on very quickly. Oh, right. yeah. Nice big steers like, yeah. we, like we did earlier. Okay, so when you're ready, if we start to... Do I need to check again? Sorry? Do I need to check again? Yeah, probably, because I've been talking too much. Uh, uh, okay, so... Oh, yeah. Do a proper check, if we're going to check again. So if, it, oh, right. 
That's no, it. That's what we do. Okay, right. Okay, so take your. That's it. Now, full lock on to the right. Full lock. Nice big steers. Big, oh, big steers, yeah. Big steers. Yeah. That's it. Okay. And press the brake. Fix the pan coin. All right. A bit heavy. A little bit heavy. All right. Okay. When you press the brake, just fix the pan coin. If you don't let the the um, car go too fast. Obviously, yeah, I thought it was going too fast there, wasn't it? Yes. Okay. Um, right. Now, if we get, we're going to take our steers off in a minute, so we need to get a reference point where we are now. All right. All right. So if you tell me where that curb cuts into the car on the right hand side. Um, I'm just in front of that door mirror. Right. Okay. So if you remember that as your reference point to know that when you get to this point, you're going to start to take the steers oh, off. I'll take so the not yet. Off. You don't want to move the steering wheel while the car's not moving. While well, the car's not moving because you'll damage the steering and the tyres. Ah, oh, right. Okay, right. so we don't want to do that. Okay, so when we start to move the car, very gently, we'll just lift the clutch up. We won't need any acceleration because we're going back downhill now, so the car's going to take lift the clutch up. So not yet. Keep your feet still at the moment. But when you start to lift the clutch up, then we're going to slightly ease off the brake thickness of a pound. So I've got to set the gas for us, haven't we? No, we're not going to set the gas because we're oh, going downhill. Oh, my instructor said if I'm using the uh, clutch, I should use the gas. But if we're moving downhill, the is car's going to... Huh? Is he wrong? Uh, not if we're going uphill, because you need the extra power. Oh, we're power. going uphill here, are we? We're going downhill, so you're not going to need the extra gas, because the gravity is going to pull the car down anyway. You need the brake to control the speed of the car. Right, so I bring the clutch up, and then I use the brakes, don't I? You keep the brake on, start... Before we Come move... On, you know what I should be doing here. Yeah, lift the clutch up, get the biting point, and then do lift I need the brake to, a little bit. Do I need to lift the clutch up if I'm not using the gas? No, no, no. okay. All right, so... What's, okay, what's, so just, what's going to take me from here to the kerb? Gravity. Right. right, okay, so you just need to ease off the brake fit this for pound coin, but we're not, oh, right. not going to do it yet. When you start to do it, we're going to... Then, as the car starts to move, we're going to move... Oh, right. Take the stairs yep. off. Yep. Okay? Yep. Right, so if you want to lift... Actually, if you hold on for a moment, there's a car coming. Let me just see what they're doing. Oh, he's not going to go past me here, is he? He's not going to go past at all, he's turning himself. Okay, right, so what we're going to do is just lift that brake thickness of pound coin. All right. right take your, start to take your steers off to the left. All right. That's it, nice big steer. Big steering. Yeah. That's it, and press the brake thickness of pound coin. Okay, now this is where we're going to stop before we start to reverse. Okay, so if you tell me where your your reference point is to the car. Reference sorry, point. Sorry, start going. Where the curb cuts into the car. Oh, underneath your door mirror. That's right. So that's your reference point reference point for noting, knowing where the car is before you want to start reversing. Oh, right. Okay, so now we're going to set reverse gear. So I need to put the handbrake on. Yes, put your handbrake oh, right. on. Okay, keep your feet still and select yeah. reverse gear. Reverse oh, right. gear, that's fourth gear. Oh, it's right. important to select that's it, reverse gear, because if you have fourth gear and we start to move, the car's going to go forward, you're going to be looking backwards and we're going to end up running into a Oh, right, screen. yeah. That's okay. That'd be a bit, a bit stupid, wouldn't it? Yeah. So, handbrake's on. So now, because we're going to be going back up here, we're going to need a little bit of gas. Oh, prepare so, myself, you mean? Yeah, prepare the car. Oh, yeah. right, yeah, I know how to do that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Brilliant. Okay, now we need to do a full set of observations. Then you keep your feet still. Keep your feet still, yes. Yeah. Okay, we're going to do a full set of observations. Oh, yeah, I've done a full set, yeah. No, so you need to look right over your right shoulder now. Oh, yeah, it's okay. Right over between the door pillar and the head. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. Okay, anything there? Is there anything there? Is there anything there? Can you see anything? Oh, just behind me. Okay, is there any pedestrians or any cyclists? No. No, they're going to go out, good. Okay, so if you come around, look ahead of us. Look down the road, any cars coming? No, no cars coming. No, look ahead, any pedestrians that would like to pull out? in front of us. And there's a car coming now. There is actually. If we just stay here for a moment and just wait for that car to go past. I'm a bit nervous now. And just hold still. If he doesn't go past, I'll wave him past. He's going anyway. Okay, right, so nothing behind. Have another look in that blind spot. We're going to start the observations right. again. That's it. And there's any, any pedestrians or cyclists there? No. No? Okay, have another look down the road. Is there any cars coming? Down the road. No. Yeah. No. no, okay, and have a look all the way along the pavement in front of us. No pedestrians about to jump off. No, it's not really anywhere, is it? Right, look down the road to the left, anything coming? No. No, and look right over your left shoulder. Yeah, it's not really Right there. over the left shoulder to see all if right. there's any pedestrians that we're going to be yeah, reversing into. There. Have a look. All right. Right down into the yeah. back window. No, it's not really there. Look over your all left right. shoulder. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> anything there? Any no. pedestrians? No. Surface? No. No one's no. going to run over. Right, okay. So now we can start to move. No, we can't. There's another car coming. 
I just hold still for a moment and let this car go. Right, he's stopped. Okay, so if we're going to have to do another set of observations. So if you look right over your right shoulder between the door oh, and the uh, yeah. head restraint, any pedestrians? No. Down the road, anything coming down on the right? No. 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 And nothing in front of us? No. Nothing in the car, the road no. on the left? You look right around the back, in the back window. Okay, so now you can take the handbrake off and we can gently start to move the car. All right. Old man's walking pace. I don't need to steer, do I? Oh, sorry, full steer. All oh, right, yeah, yeah. Full lock on. Okay. That's it. Stop there. Press the right. fitness of a pound coin. All right. Okay, now this is, we're, we're about halfway, so we're going to look up and down the road now to see if there's any more oh, cars coming. Down, so look to the right, there's a car coming. Look yeah. to the left. Yeah. Right, there's not enough room for them to come through anyway, so he's going to have to stop there. Wait for him to stop. He's stopped. Okay, so now if you look over, we do, right, so we've looked up and down, so now look back over your right shoulder. All right, yeah. We're going to move the car back just a little bit more, so if you take your foot off the brake. Are you using gravity again? No, lift your foot. Yes, we are actually, that's fine. Right over your right shoulder. Yeah. Okay, keep looking in the direction you're going. All right, yeah. Right over the back window. Okay, and stop that. Press the brake, right. it's a pound coin. Now, this is your reference point for when we're going to be taking the steers off. Right. Okay, so. He's, you... me, he's making me really nervous. Where's room for him? To... I'll wave him past this. Can you come through? He waited very patiently. Right, okay. Shall I wipe the other one on? No. Oh, is there another one? Okay, come on. No, he's waiting. All right. Okay, so if you look behind your right shoulder and tell me where the car, the curb cuts into the car. Oh, just about a quarter way along that window. Okay, that's your reference point for starting to take the steers off. All oh, right, yeah, yeah. Okay, so as we go this time, we're going to start to take the steers, steers off. off. Not yes. what, not well until we're moving, because we don't want that dry steering. Oh, we damage the steering, That's going yeah. to damage the steering, yeah. that's right. Yeah. So, okay, if you ease off the brake again and let gravity pull the car yeah. back, take your steers off. All right. That's it. Keep looking behind you All so right, you yeah. don't yeah. hit anything. Oh, we're going to... Taking the stairs off the wrong way, haven't we? No, we haven't. That's right. Okay, and stop. Press it, break. Think it's a pan coin. Okay. Now, if you have another look in your right shoulder and tell me where the curb cuts into the car. Oh, just in the corner of his window here. That's right. Okay. So that's going to be your reference point for knowing where to stop He's the car really so that nervous. we don't. Has he got room to go past? Yeah. Okay. If we just stop the car for a moment, if you'd like to come through. Oh, we'll let the other one go as well. And this one's going to go. He could have gone ages ago, couldn't he? <laughs> right, we're going to prepare the car to move away now. So if you want to select first gear. Oh. First gear. That's it. It's important we get first gear because yeah. we don't want to go to storm and oh, hitting right. the pedestrian. So now we're going to do another full set of observations. I don't need that handbrake, do I? Oh, yeah. <coughs> put your handbrake on. Oh. Okay, so a full set of observations. We're going to look oh, round yeah. over your left shoulder to see if there's anyone, any pedestrians about to jump out in front of us. So look right over your left shoulder. I'll do, I'll prepare first. Oh, sorry, yeah. Okay, lift your accelerator up and get behind you. I know how to do prepare. Okay, prepare the car. I've done prepare loads of times. That's it, okay. Now yeah. we're going to observe, do all our observations now. So if you look right over your left shoulder. Oh, yeah. Right over and out of the back window. Oh, yeah, it's fine. No, over your left shoulder. No, here, it's fine. No, you need to look. All right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Anything there? Any pedestrians? No, no, there's a car driving behind me. He's not moving, is he? No. No, okay, so. We're going to stop for a moment because there's a car coming, okay, so we just stop and let him go. Okay. Right, so we just check that blind spot again. So look back down over yeah, your left fine, shoulder. Yeah. Look over your left oh, shoulder. Yeah, <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Okay, look to the left down the road. Anything coming? No. No? Nothing in front of us? No. Nothing to the right of us? No. Right, one, check your blind spot on your right, between the door pillar and the... That's it. Okay, I'm going to take the handbrake off and I'm going to move away. Alright. Don't get me to stop on the left. Okay, and if you'd like to stop on the left. I don't need a signal for this. Yes, you do oh, need yeah, a signal. Because there's cars coming up to us and also pedestrians on the right who might decide to walk across the road. Go on, that was hard work. It was hard work, yes. Yeah. It is hard oh, work. Yes, is it? <laughs> do you want to have another go? Yeah. Okay. So. 
I would have learned some of that, wouldn't I? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, so what's the first thing we're going to do? Um, I'll get myself prepared, don't I? Yeah, okay, so if you'd like to prepare the car. Yeah. Oh, I've got to get first gear, haven't I? Why have you got to get first gear? Yeah, because I'll stall otherwise, haven't I? That's right, and then the car can shoot uh, forward and hit someone. What's the next thing we're going to do? Uh, I'm prepared now. Mm -hmm. anyway. um, oh, for observations. Okay, so if you want to start your observations, uh, where are you going to look first? Oh, I'm going to look um, in the mirror. Yeah. Um, what can you see in the mirror? I can see that car coming up. Yeah, should we wait for him to cross? Right? Yes, I can't pull across from them, can I? No, because we don't want to collide with this. We don't want to force them to stop unless they choose to. Oh, he's gone now. Okay, so where are you going to look next? Um, I'll check off the left shoulder. That's right. Uh, what can you see? Melody there. Okay. I've got the scare with this dog. Yeah, so we're going to keep an eye on her. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's clear ahead. It's clear ahead. Where's next? Uh, that dog's acting a bit funny, so I'll keep still for a minute, shall I? Yeah. He's getting a bit excited, isn't he? Right, Chris, okay. have another look. All oh, right, yeah. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, left shoulder, yeah? Yep, yeah, okay. All the way along here, yep. it's clear. The head is clear. Yep. Um, I'll look over there at number 20. Uh-huh. Um, Where's the last place you're going to look? Oh, yeah, between that head restraint and the door pillar. Yeah, what can you see? And you'll see them just getting out of that car. Yeah. Then I'll let so the hand break down. That's right. Full, full lock on. Oh, big, big steers, steering, yeah. yeah. Big steers. How far are you going to go? I'll have to line that first reference point up, don't I? That's right, okay. I'll camber, uh, gravity, Press. cover the brake. Okay. Uh, it looks like it's in the right place now. It just I think we've gone too the... far, haven't we? No, yeah, it looks like it's just ahead of the, uh, the door mirror. Okay, so we've got, um, we're going to just take our steers off then. Oh, just yeah. a small amount. Oh, I must Not dry steering, steering No, when you start moving. I use gravity, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. And then I line the second reference point up. Yeah. Uh, okay, why are you lining that up? Oh, that stops me hanging over the curb. Mm -hmm. What could happen if you were hanging over the curb? Good question. Um, oh, I could hit a pedestrian, couldn't I? That yeah. girl with the dog could be walking the side of the road now, couldn't she? Yeah, that's right. Yeah? Okay. Okay, so what's the next thing we're going to do? You need to pop your hand on. Oh, yeah, on. yeah. Um, I'll get reverse gear, innit? Yeah. Oh. Okay. And then... P. Prepare. Yeah, come on then. Um, o. Um, have to look everywhere, haven't I? Have you got that clutch up enough? Yeah. Look, right point. Yep. Okay. So yeah, start your observations then. Where are you oh, going to yeah. look first? Oh, to the right. Right between the oh, yeah, door yeah. and straight. Nobody there. Okay, where's that? Uh, all the way around. Yeah. Nobody there. What are you looking for? Pedestrians, cars, bikes. Okay. Practice. And where are you going to look back? Oh, behind me. Okay, so if you want to move. Then I've got to uh, steer, haven't I? Yeah, keep looking behind you. All right. Keep looking right out the back yeah, window. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep looking in the direction you're going. How far are you going to go? Oh, I'm going to Let's stop go now, aren't I? Okay, now where are you going to look? Uh, all around again. And then I'll be right shoulder, aren't I? Yeah, okay. Oh, she's coming back with that dog. She is. I'll go back a little bit further, look, aren't I? We'll just keep an eye on her. Okay, and where are you going to stop this time? I'm going to stop here because the curb comes in about a quarter way along that window. That's right, okay. Can I put the handbrake on? Put, put the that, handbrake on while she's going behind us because then we know the car's me, safe. He? He's a wild bugger, isn't he? <laughs> the little ones always are. Right, so we do another full set of observations because we've stopped here. Oh, right. Okay, so if you want to... Oh, yeah. oh, hang on, if you'd like to just stop the car for a moment, we're going to wave this car past I, ha I have stopped, I'm not moving. He wants to stop. Okay. Stay there. Okay, if we're going to. Um... Right, so this time we know we're going to take the, the steering off as we start moving. All oh, right, yeah. Okay, so if you want to take the steering off, keep looking out oh, the back window, no. out, you know, over your left shoulder, over your oh, left, left shoulder. shoulder. Oh, how can I see the no, curve? It is, it's the right shoulder. Keep looking over your right shoulder. You sure? Until you get that reference point. 